All right, Dan, you ready, uh, ready to get into this? Let's talk AAC. All right. Um, so our first uh, team on the list is uh, my nemesis in NCAA 14 uh, mm -hmm. is Tulsa, uh, the mm -hmm. Tulsa Gur Golden Showers. I mean, uh, uh, Hurricanes. Um, and uh, Moving I... On. I'm a little surprised that they are ranked so low in like everything. I mean, they have a very small class, like a tiny class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so I don't know. Eleventh uh, in in the AAC, 127th nationally. Um, 116th uh, was their previous rank, and they're not. They don't currently have a rank for 2022. Um, Phil Montgomery came into the 2020 season on a bit of a hot seat. Um, Sports Illustrated had him as one of nine coaches that could be on the hot seat. And uh, that, that list had four of their nine coaches on that list ended up getting fired. So, um, well, he saved his butt with a great season. Yeah, yeah, he, he sure did. He sure did. Um, I mean, they Good were six season. and three with their only losses coming to Oklahoma State, Cincinnati, and uh, Mississippi State. And for having the level of recruiting that they did, they did quite well. And they yeah. didn't, they didn't, they played all of those teams very close. I think they only lost those games by like a combined score of like 10 or 15. Yeah. At the most. I mean, it was, yeah. it was very, 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 very close to being undefeated, essentially. Um, it seemed like they were just an annoying team to play. Like yeah, if you were yeah. the other team, it was just annoying to play them. Extremely. They were, yeah. Um, their fans were extremely annoying throughout the entire season as well. Um, I'm calling you the fuck out, Tulsa. Um, Y'all are annoying. You need to calm um, down. <laughs> no, they, they are annoying. Uh, Cincinnati had to cancel their first game for COVID reasons. Actually, I think it might have been Tulsa and them had COVID things and then they had uh their second game canceled uh which would have decided who had conference championship hosting privileges and their fans just were rabid on cincinnati saying that cincinnati didn't want to play them and it's like i'm sorry but i i don't Tulsa. think anyone cares no. about you no um Everybody's right. just confused why they're called the Golden Hurricane when they're located in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I um, do I not did understand. I did research on it once, and I don't care to explain it because I don't like Tulsa. And okay, uh, fair enough. My impartiality is is kind of uh, I, I, actually I I have a preferred team in Tulsa. It's uh, Oral Roberts. Okay. Um, and so I, I just I just don't like Tulsa. Um, I, but I don't, I don't, I don't see, um, them repeating their success this year, unless they're just once again, really annoying. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to have faith in Philip Montgomery, uh, yeah. moving forward. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they had a good season this year. I think it was uh, a fluke. They played, it must've been something they just rallied together because right. like I said, they played annoying, they played tough, they played hard and, they got six and three. The last four years before that, they were four and eight, three and nine, two and ten. Or three years before that, four and eight, two and three and nine, two and ten. Um, they did have a ten and three season in Philip Montgomery's first year, but since then it's all kind of been downhill. Yep. Um, yeah, it's just like that he's not inspired a lot of confidence. He's had like a good season here and there. And maybe for Tulsa, that's enough. Um yeah. But it also feels like maybe that's not enough because they, they were really small budget. So like they need to be winning games in order for that, that program to really sustain itself. It's a small school. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and I mean, I mean, if you're going to put Oral Roberts ahead of them, they're probably the fourth biggest school in their state then. True facts. True facts. I mean, uh, Tulsa. They're, I mean, they're not they, smaller they're, than Oral they Roberts. are the smallest I, i'm pretty sure they're the smallest school in fbs football um i don't know like in terms of only, what like enrollment um, enrollment enrollment yeah i think they only have like 3500 students in their enrollment i'll um, check that um you want to get into their schedule yeah, well, a little while bit? you're doing that i have their schedule pulled up uh they have uc davis the aggies at home uh to start the the season september 2nd 
Uh, and then they once again play at Oklahoma State. So they, they got the away and away series going. Uh, so they got the, the dick of that schedule. Um, and then they get another OSU in Ohio State. Tough um, back-to-back there. And back-to-back OSUs. And then they get to go uh, have uh, Butch Jones and the Arkansas Red Wolves, Arkansas State Red Wolves join them in, uh, in Tulsa. That'll be an interesting game. Yeah, I think that'll be an interesting game. I think they have a chance to win that one. Um, I think then they have they have Houston, then Memphis. I think that of those two games, they're more likely to beat Houston. I think Memphis is going to be pretty good this year. Um, then they have South Florida at South Florida, so they get to go play in an empty NFL stadium. Yeah. Um, so I think they could win that. So we're looking at now being four and three. And then they've got Navy, and I never know how to judge Navy because sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Yeah. Um, the last few years, it's been we, the not. We'll get into Navy a little bit later. Um, so then they have Cincinnati, and I, I think Cincinnati is clearly the better team there. They could maybe give Cincinnati some uh, some trouble. They've got a game at Tulane, and I think Tulane takes that. Then they beat Temple. Uh, and then they've got a game at SMU. So I think they could win. They could be bowling this year, potentially. And I think that that would be. That'd be enough. outstanding if they get to another bowl game. Yeah, it would be outstanding. I looked it up. There's nothing exact. Um, I, it, I found a website that said it's Air Force, and they said it was. Okay. they had a, an enrollment of like 4,000. So I Googled Tulsa's enrollment, and it, it it's like 3,700. So I guess it is Tulsa. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's Tulsa just based off uh, the U.S. Uh, Education Bureau's number yeah. um, that I was looking at a while back. 